hello everyone in this video i will show you how to configure your barcode reader device in such a way it makes your life easier and makes your data entry much faster in order to follow along with this video what we need first we need a list of barcode in order to do our test i have printed this list but you don't need to print it out i also Put the link for this file in the description of this video the second thing which we need is the manual user manual for this device for this the best place to go is the manualslibrary.com i will put the link for this website as well the website is look like this manualslib.com all you need to do is to put the model of the device in the search bar and search for it. It shows you a list of the manuals, one of them written Honeywell 3800G user manual. Click on this and it is opening like this. This document is supporting the models G, GSD and GPDF. On the left hand, you have the table of contents and you can use that little search bar to look for whatever you want. And this uh, manual is very useful. You will pick some of the useful things which we can use it in the configuration of this device. The other thing in order to practice our work on it, we need an Excel sheet in order to see how the things works. So the first thing which I would like to show you how you do it is resetting this device to factory setting, which is very important. Sometimes you do something, you are not sure what you did or your device is not working properly. It is better to know how to reset it. So for this, all you need to do in the search bar here right reset and you get some suggestion one of them is resetting the standard product defaults click on this you get a barcode like this this barcode is used to reset in your device to factory setting and all you need to do is to read this barcode using your barcode reader and you can use your screen and no need to print this okay now if i want to read one of these barcodes as you see, after reading the barcode in the Excel sheet, the cursor stays inside the cell itself and is not going to the next column or going to the row below it. This is okay, but in case you have many products and or many barcodes, you want to read them quickly and entering them to the Excel sheet, it is each time you have to press enter on the keyboard which is not good and it is time consuming to make this faster what we do we go back to our user manual and in the search bar we write return and we have one suggestion says to add a carriage return suffix click on that link and you get a page like this the first barcode written underneath of it at cr suffix after you read this barcode with your barcode reader the device will be programmed to go to the next line each time you read the barcode so let's do it now it is ready to read any barcode and go to the next line once the reading is complete so i will show you on the excel sheet as you see the after reading each barcode it goes to the next line sometimes you need the cursor goes to the next column instead going to the row below it. So I, if I want to go in horizontal line, we have another manual. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find it inside this manual. So I went to the uh, website Honeywell. This is the website and I will put the link for this website in the description of this video. We have Honeywell at CR or PDF file click on this and uh, one of them is to add in tab after each scan so all you need to do is scan this barcode and go back to your excel sheet and now if i want to read a barcode automatically goes to the next column instead going to the next row so this is how you program it in the horizontal way after each scan now if i want to go back to the vertical one and go back to the excel sheet as you see it goes to the next line after each reading 
or after each scan. Another thing which is useful to learn how to program your device is automatic reading. As you see, the beam is not coming out unless I press the this trigger button. So when I press the trigger, the beam is coming out. If in case you want the trigger to be on all the time, you can do it. And at the same time, you can make it automatic reading. So I write automatic auto automatic trigger click on this link you have automatic trigger here so you can scan this then the device will be automatic trigger and no need to press this button so let's scan it sometimes you need to change the location of the reader now it's read it and programmed so if i go back to my excel sheet as you see the beam is on without pressing the trigger See how the fast is going our reader. This way we were able to program it automatic and make our data entry much faster. The other thing is that beeping. Sometimes it is not beeping or you don't like this beep. You can change this as well and I'm going down to the chapter 3. We have the beeper. Click on this. You can turn it off or turn it on if you want and you can make the level change the level from low to medium and high also you can change the sound so i will choose this frequency 4200 so you can change the frequency i will scan this one now if i want to check out this what the sound is look like after changing the frequency as you see the sound has been changed to another type now after all if you want to reset and remove all these configuration all you need to do is go back to the manual and write the reset as we learned it at the first step and scan that barcode it goes back to the normal and factory default i hope this video was useful if you have any question leave it in the comment below